Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane, dude. We're at Pet Supermarket right now, and right here is the crawfish tank. So we're gonna pick up a few of these guys and bring them back, and then you know what's gonna happen. I've never tried this, I've never seen if they like crawfish before. It's gonna be an experiment, and we'll see if they like them, I mean. And now something really cool about this is that I actually looked up what's a bumblebee grouper's favorite food, and it actually is a lobster. So the closest thing to a lobster is a crawfish. So. We're gonna take about four of them home because I know all the fish will kind of munch on them and see what happens. Got our crawfish all bagged up. We're gonna head home and see what happens. We are back home with our crawfish and over here is my 200 gallon saltwater aquarium. We got a bumblebee grouper, we got a lionfish, we got a panther grouper, two puffer fish, a lobster, and then two eels in here. So basically we're gonna drop these guys in and see if they munch them. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive, this guy and this guy are gonna be the first ones to eat them. There's our eel right back there, just exploring. So we're gonna drop these crawfish in, see what eats them, and then we'll also add some other food, like cut up sardines and stuff for the other fish. And this should be pretty epic. I've never tried this before, so let's do it. So we got a little container right here, and I'm just gonna dump the crawfish in there. So you can pick the ones out and throw them in the tank. Now these are feeder crawfish, guys. They were gonna be fed, so. These are not ones that you keep as pets or anything like that. All right, so we'll probably take this guy right here, drop him in first. I really don't want to get pinched. <laughs> I'm scared of these things, dude. They're scary. <laughs> Will they hurt you? Though? Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Here we go. Oh my god, okay. Well, that did not last long. Wow. <laughs> Dude, gone. Look at this, and he's already waiting for another one. Ready? Stay away. Oh, 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 oh. no, no, no. Oh, oh my god. Come gosh, on. Just, oh, we gotta put two at a time. They're distracting with one? We'll just do one. I don't think he'll eat this one. No, dude, he's still hungry. Wow. Move away. Move away. Move away. Can I? Oh! Murked it. Oh my gosh. He murked that thing, bro. <laughs> I didn't even see it happen. It was so fast. It. No, because it was like drifting. It was like like this, like he didn't want it, and then he just, boom, murked. <laughs> we still have two more left. Look at it. That would be sick if we can get an eel to eat one. Think you can? I mean, the only problem is this guy, dude. He doesn't let anything get down to them. He's just a beast. Here we go. <laughs> he missed Whoa. it! He missed it! Whoa! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> That's insane, dude. That's absolutely insane. I thought he got your hand. He almost did. He almost got my finger. It just went down. It just went down. Just okay. crawl okay. down. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh the, the puffer puffer fish! The puffer <laughs> fish has the what? No way! No way! What's he gonna do with that thing? The the, the bumblebee has not seen that yet. Yeah, he just literally inhaled that whole thing. Look at the bumblebee's gonna see it in a second. He's gonna try to steal it from me. Yeah, He's there gonna he try goes. to steal it from me. Here it goes. Oh, 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 oh. They're fighting over it. They're fighting over it. This oh. is not good. He's so mad. Look at this, dude. Look, he's gonna eat the claw. He's gonna eat the claw. I told you. <laughs> he just ate the claw of it. There's another one floating. Look at the eel. Dude, the eel's trying to steal it out of his mouth. Serious? Yes, the eel just came up. I can't believe the pufferfish is actually Dude, eating that thing. Dude, he just murked that thing. Like, <laughs> Isn't that the one we caught in the fish trap? Yes. That's him. He's doing great. 
Now, as you can see, guys, the bumblebee grouper is a very aggressive fish, a very fast-growing fish. And unfortunately, he did eat one of the smaller fish in this aquarium, being the trigger fish. One of my favorite fish, one of my mom's favorite fish, everyone's favorite fish. The fish had so much personality, and it really stinks that he ate him. And the only reason I know he ate him, because he's not here anymore, and the only fish in here big enough to eat him is the bumblebee grouper. The trigger fish was about this big, so. I definitely am gonna take the responsibility of that because, you know, I should have known, but at the same time, I didn't realize how fast this fish grew. I thought the trigger fish, I bought them around the same size when he was about this big and the trigger fish was about this big. So I figured, okay, they'll grow up together. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. He did end up eating our trigger fish, so my plans for this fish, I'm gonna give him about a month or two See how big he gets. I plan on keeping him until he's about this big, and then we're gonna have to give him away because we can't have him eating our lobster or a lionfish or a puffer fish or eating our eels. We can't have that. So we'll find a good home for him. I'm thinking um, Frost Science Museum. It's actually a big museum. They have massive fish tanks. I made a couple videos there. We'll be able to go back and visit him all the time until he's 900 pounds because this fish right there is supposed to grow to 900 pounds. So. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know just so you weren't wondering where is the trigger fish, that's what happened to him. And you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. And we learn from it, you know? This guy, there's really nothing you can do when it comes down to fish eating other fish. It happens. As you guys can tell, there's not a lot of shrimp left in this tank. There's a, all the shrimp that we caught, you know, some of them die off, some of them do get eaten. But I see one right there. I see some sea urchins. Let's see if I see any other shrimp. I see one back there, one up there. Yeah, so there's about four shrimp in here. And we've put in like 11 shrimp. So if you guys think we should do a restock of invertebrates, get this video to 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, pretty easy. I know you guys can do it. And we'll go back and we'll do like a whole diving video of catching invertebrates. I know you guys love that because it has 1.9 million views. So if you think we should do a part two of that, get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll go catch some invertebrates. So right here we got some sardines, frozen sardines, kind of gross. Um, and over here we got my mom's scissors. Yes, I'm sorry, we're gonna be using your scissors, mom. <laughs> and we're just gonna cut these guys into pieces. They absolutely love these things and I don't love them. Disgusting, I wanna throw up right now. Oh, yeah, my mom's gonna kill me when she sees this. Yep, we're just gonna cut them into little chunks. All right, we got a whole pilchard right here. Let's see if you can do it. Can you do it? Oh God, oh God, oh my God. <laughs> what? He missed, he missed. Oh, no problem. God. Yeah, no problem, God. No issues at all. Wow. He's, He's like, you, are you kidding bro. me, that's it? I want more. Tank. Look at the lobster, did you? Okay, get out of there. Look at the lobster. Just dump these in, watch our lobster, watch all of the fish. Ready? Oh, 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 look at the eel, look at the eel, Davis. Ready? <laughs> oh, oh, he's Holy uh, crap, oh, the lobster just ate him. Dude, that eel is going crazy. What is going on? He likes it. <laughs> Look at that eel right there to your left. He's gonna find him, man. He likes it. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh, puffer. It's pretty cool, the lobster. Puffer fish is still hungry. Yeah, Crawfish cool. wasn't enough. Oh, 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 this is gonna be really cool. He's smelling it. So eels actually have very bad eyesight, so they really just depend on their smell. So right now he's smelling out to see if he can find one. Is he really oh, oh, out oh. for more? There he goes. There he goes. He got his, wow. got his piece. He's trying to readjust it. What's he doing? Dude, they're like snakes. Yeah. It's like literally a snake, so bro. Cool. Look at that. So right here is my shrimp tank, and you've guys seen this before. I basically just breed little shrimp in here. Um, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I don't have a net, I don't know where it went, so I'm trying to do this with a hand, with my hands. And we're just gonna feed these. I have this tank specifically for my lionfish. I breed the shrimp and then I feed them the shrimp to my lionfish because the only thing he eats is these little shrimp. Right here, I can't open my hand, but there's live ghost shrimp right here. We're gonna feed them off to the lionfish. Just wait for it. Once he sees, he, 
He sees one. He sees one. He sees one. Here it comes. Here it comes. Right there. Oh gosh, yeah, that, that's done. Oh. Yeah, done. Gone. And it's gone. It's all gone. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so as some of you know, we actually caught this lionfish. Me and my buddy Chad, we went out and caught this lionfish in the wild. They're actually highly invasive. And the, when, you're, when you catch them, you're supposed to kill them. Or you can add them to your aquarium because they're pretty big in the aquarium industry. So what we did was... We added him to this aquarium, and I kind of want to get another one. I'm going to be removing the groupers soon. They're getting pretty big, so it gives us more space for other fish, like a lionfish. They're very cool fish. Do you guys think we should do a part two of catching lionfish? Go comment down below and say lionfish. And that lets me know that you guys want to see a lionfish catching video. Anyways, guys, that is all we got for you today. If you enjoyed me feeding the bumblebee grouper, the panther grouper, and all the other fish in this tank live crawfish, make sure you hit that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time we upload a video. On this channel, we do some crazy stuff. We do a bunch of diving videos, we do catching fish for our aquariums, we do fish traps, we do a bunch of things. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, I know for a fact you'll enjoy the rest of them. So make sure you subscribe down below. And also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's popping up right here. Go follow me. You'll be able to see uh, behind the scenes of pretty much how we make these videos and stuff. So, yeah, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See you!